Doksugung Palace is one of the most popular palaces in central Seoul. Its very cheap admission and diverse architecture have locals and expats coming back for more. And the great news for lovers of the palace is that one of its grandest sub-buildings, Sok Jojon, will reopen to the public next week after undergoing five years of painstaking restoration work. Park ji reports. Completed in 1910, Sokjojan is a western-style stone building part of Toksugung Palace in central Seoul. Designed by British architect G.R. Harding, the three-story hall was built according to the 18th-century European court style and it housed King Gojong's sleeping quarters and audience rooms. The building went through so many alterations during more than 35 years of Japanese occupation in the early 20th century and following the Korean War. And Sokjoja now opens to the public after five years of restoration work, which cost some 13 million U.S. dollars. We have put items that have been stored at the National Palace Museum of Korea, but in their original position after thoroughly studying old pictures and doing our own research. Seok Jojeon will open to the public from next Monday. Visitors can see over 130 displayed items inside the building, including about 40 pieces of original furniture set up at the time of the building's establishment. Visitors can also watch documentaries about Korea's modern history and King Gojong and his royal families. King Gojong was the final king of Joseon dynasty that lasted some 600 years and the first emperor of the short-lived Great Korean Empire, which was forcefully annexed by Japan. Historians have shown us that Seok Jojeon is not a symbol of foreign annexation, but a symbol of King Gojong's willingness for independent modernization. So this hall is of great historic importance to Korea. Seokjojeon, a grand building that has bore witness to some of the most vivid parts of Korea's modern history, is finally back with the Korean people some 104 years after its establishment. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.